the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board yesterday insisted that the use of electronic devices by candidates during the Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examinations UTME, remained prohibited. The agency said electronic devices like mobile phones, calculators, wristwatches and recorders won't be allowed into any of its centers by candidates during this year's examination. JAM stated these in its weekly bulletin obtained by our reporter in Abuja yesterday. Some of the banned items include spy reading glasses, cameras, earpiece, Bluetooth devices, USB, CD, hard disk and other similar storage devices. Others are pen, bureau, smart lenses, books or any reading and writing material, ink, pen readers, key holders, ATM cards, erasers and smart rings, jewelries. The statement reads, to ensure that the board's examinations meet best global practice, the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board has prohibited the use of the items during examinations. Candidates are hereby advised in their best interest not to bring these items close to the examination venue. Any breach of this directive would bar the candidates from taking the examination, JAMB's spokesperson drive. Fabian Benjamin said candidates have been complying with the directive since it was introduced by the agency. Benjamin stated that some candidates, who breached the directive and brought some of the devices to the hall, were caught and handed over to security agencies. According to him, the essence of the ban is to ensure that JAMB's examination meets global best practice. He said, candidates have been complying. The board had provided lockers where candidates can lock their personal belongings. However, if you were caught in the hall with any of them, certainly you would be sanctioned. Last year, we caught a lady that had a phone in her private part and she was taken to the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps and she was prosecuted. In the same vein, Chairman, Governing Board of JAM, Drive. Emmanuel Ndukwe attributed the ban on CyberCafe from handling its registration on the need to have a seamless, free-from-all-kinds-of-infractions registration process. Ndukwe noted that the ban became inevitable following the review of the activities of CyberCafe operators. He explained that registration was a vital component of any successful examination and as such, it should not be marred by extortion, mismatched data and poor technical know-how. He added that the agency would continue to define the code of operations with a view to enhancing the system for the benefit of all candidates. The chairman said, at the Unilag stakeholders meeting held on 21 December 2018, it was agreed that the ban on cyber cafes and all other places that are not CBT centers should be sustained to avoid discrepancies in candidates' data and prevent sundry fraudulent acts. Any center we find not complying with our ethics of registration will be sanctioned and we believe this is the way to go in ensuring that the right things are done. All requirements had been defined and agreed upon by the board and center's owners. The cost of the e-pins has been slashed by the federal government and nobody should be allowed to do otherwise. He stated that JAM has not foreclosed the possibility of cyber cafes participating in the registration exercise, insisting that they must meet certain standards before they can be allowed to operate. Once it meets the board's expectations, a cyber cafe could be upgraded to a CBT center.